Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just going to be a grocery haul. That way, I'm gonna do a few videos like this where it's only a grocery haul and you guys can kind of get to it quicker because that is all the video is going to be. So I figured I'm gonna record this and get it posted for you as soon as possible. And I've got some plans today, so stay tuned for more videos. I've got a lot of stuff I've gotta get done, but Anyways, today's grocery haul is a Winco grocery haul and we spent a total of we spent a total of $194.80 and I just noticed the lady behind me is like redoing her whole siding. That's crazy. Um, that's besides the point. But anyways, let's get you guys into this grocery haul and show you what I got. And I'm gonna put the prices for each item as well just like I did in one of my older videos. So, hope you enjoy. Okay guys, so here is an overview of the groceries that we got from Winco. And I'll show you a little clip. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I just had to get Winco on there. Um, I meant to get, <laughs> I meant to bring you guys inside the store and I was really bummed out that I forgot my phone. So hopefully next time I can bring you along inside and show you as we're inside the store in case you don't know what it's like. That way you can tell what it's like. But anyways, all everything up here minus like two things that we already ate is every single item that we got. The total again was $194.80 and let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to include this in the haul because it was part of the price. We had gotten three of these Winco Food bags. They're pretty big and really sturdy. They're pretty deep and anyways, we got three of those at $1.98 each. Y'all, how am I supposed to do this? <laughs> she does not want to be down. She wants me to hold her. And this is my daughter, Jalen, if you're new here. Um, so she's just a little monkey. Um, anyways, Jalen's birthday is coming up. She will be one. Where are you going? Okay, so don't mind the noise in the background. The first thing we got are these two gallons of milk. We got them at $2.96 each. And then we got two of these creamers. One is hazelnut, that one is for me. And then the sweet and creamy one is for my husband. The creamers were $3.28 each. And then we got some pasta. We got two bags of the medium shells. So both of these bags of medium shells, these were $1.96. Those were $1.96 each. And then we got this bag of cavatappi, cavatappi, whatever. We I don't think we've ever gotten this before. Maybe we have, but it was only 98 cents. And then we actually got and then we actually got two of these farmland sausages. We actually ate one of them and these were $2.50 each. And then I really wanted to get some pinto beans and the beans were $2.32 and then we got some of this we got some of this beef chorizo this was $1.64 and then in my last grocery haul I talked about these that we already ate them and I think they raised the price since we got them last. I don't remember, but these were actually $8. These were $8.98, but they are really, really good. And they're pretty big. This beef round eye, this was $8.92. And then we got this beef sirloin, sirloin chop. This was $6.06. And then we got this sirloin chop pack, which was $5.58. And then we got this one, which was 
So I'm gonna put that stuff away real quick and I'll get back into this. Okay, so next up we got this big large pack of chicken thighs. It was $7.55 and we've been getting these pretty often. So this is like a usual thing we get. And we actually had two of these jumbo biscuits. We ate one last night. Um, these were $1.78 each. And then we have this Velveeta cheese. This was $7.98. We still have some leftover from last time, but it's just really good. Um, you can make good dips, whatever you want. And then we got two of these ranch style beans. Those were $2.36, or no, no, no. Those were $1.18 each. Next, we have this natural Skippy peanut butter. I love this stuff. This cost $4.98. It's super, I mean, it's just, it's not super low price. It is name brand, but I think it's worth the price for sure. Okay, we have a lot of cereal here. The cereals there are a pretty decent price for the kind that is Winko's food brand. And those two back there, the frosted shredded wheat, those are $2.36 each, which came out to $4.72. And then I don't know each price for the other ones. I'm assuming that little cinnamon one was the cheapest. There is one that cost $1.98, one cost $1.87, and then one cost $1.99, and then there's another price somewhere in here. And there was another one that cost $1.98. So that came out to a really good price. And then we had gotten, what did we get? So we got these cheeses here. We got the sharp cheddar was $3.18 right there. And then both of these little cheeses, these were $2.98 each, which came out to $5.96. And then my husband grabbed this salsa. The salsa was $3.48. Okay, both of these packs of hams were $3.48 each, which came out to $6.96. We got this thing of romaine lettuce. This right here cost $1.48. So we got some ginger and that came out to $1.18. And then over here, we, well, my husband filled our little like pepper grinder. So he put the rest in the bag. But anyways, it came out to $5.17. And then here we have some granulated garlic. That was $3.78. It came out to $4.17 for the granulated for the granulated garlic. I ate two of them, but we got bananas. That cost $3.05. And then we have this huge 10 pound thing of ground beef. And that cost $26.88. I've got to split that up. I'm not going to be doing it in this video. But anyways, and then I got a big pack of Idaho russet potatoes. And that was $1.99 a pound at $0.98 cents a pound, which cost $4.98 for that. And then we got some zucchini not cucumber <laughs> and that came out to a dollar 95. we got some baby carrots which was three dollars and 98 cents for that and then my husband got this flavored coffee the flavor is donut shop and it's like in the store you can just you know it's in the containers and stuff and you can pick whatever kind you want and that was $1.43 a pound, which came out to $11.41. It's something new. We're kind of trying. We don't always get this stuff. But yeah, so he got that. And then we got this multigrain bread. I've been eating some pieces. I've been eating some of this for my toast in the morning. 
and that was $1.98. So the total for everything came out to $194.80. And yeah, so obviously the spices, you know what that kind of stuff's for, seasonings and all that. The baby carrots, we can either, we can do whatever. You can dip them in ranch, or you can dip the carrots in ranch. You can use it for the baby. You can use it as a snack. Um, the potatoes, we always get potatoes. We were trying to stock up on cereal because we don't like to run out of cereal. Um, and the meats and everything was just something we always buy. We're just trying to keep a good stock of it. But yeah, for the most part, we don't have any special meals planned out. The only thing is I really want to make chili one night. So that is one of the things I want to make. But as far as everything else, we usually just get meats and then we either have an idea in mind of what we want to get. Don't mind my daughter bouncing in her bouncer. Oh my goodness. Or we can look up recipes that has to do with chicken or pork or whatever. And then we go from there. But we always have potatoes on hand. We always need milk. We always need peanut butter. Hold on. Okay, you guys don't even know, but I was actually gone for a long time, longer than it seemed. <laughs> um, I ended up taking my daughter into our room and trying to put her down for a nap. She kept dropping her binky, just like last night. <laughs> and then when I went to turn on something for her, like turn it down low though, but like I tried to, and everything turned on, the Xbox and the TV and everything, but then the remote was like not working. I couldn't find batteries, and then it ended up finally I found batteries, and I couldn't get her to calm down, so I just like hung out in there for her, with, I, with her for a long time, and almost forgot uh, I thought I was done, and I was going to edit this, and I didn't finish talking about the stuff, like how we plan. So, we always have an idea in mind of things we want to get, but we don't always have specific meal plans. Like we always kind of want to go see the prices are changing so quickly. So we can't always be like, oh, we're going to get this. We're going to get that. We just kind of like have an idea. And if it works, it works. If the stuff is too expensive that we had in mind, we will change our minds in the store. Um, but for the most part, what we love to have in our household is we love all kinds of meats but we always feel like we need hamburger meat we do a lot of meals that have hamburger we do tacos we do hamburgers ourselves we do any kind of casseroles we always could use hamburger meat I feel like we always need peanut butter but I eat peanut butter toast like every morning and then we always need milk in the house we always try to keep potatoes on hand and pasta so we just kind of I think my husband was gonna make um he has an idea for the catatopi or whatever it was called, but we always try to grab other kinds of pasta as well just to keep a good stock up on pasta. And as I said before, the beans were for me primarily because I want to make chili. I mean, the chili is going to be for everybody, but that was kind of a planned out thing. But as for everything else, it was just kind of like fill-ins. We always try to keep lettuce on hand, some kind of vegetables. We have canned vegetables and stuff and frozen vegetables, but like zucchini and stuff, we've been getting that lately and we're loving it. So, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul and I hope it gives you some ideas. And if you don't have Winco around you, someone had asked me like in my last video, like what it compares to. And I didn't really have a good answer because I don't know. And she, kind of got the idea the idea that maybe it compares to like a Piggly Wiggly so there's a good cheap um, grocery store for you guys we don't have one of those around here we are in Washington but Winco or Winco is like the grocery store that we love to go to because we usually get a lot you know we get a good bang for our buck kind of so to speak so like I said it was under $200 and that's counting the three grocery bags that we purchased because we keep forgetting to bring ours with us. But anyways, hopefully the next time we gro go grocery shopping, I will be able to bring you guys along with me in the store. That was the plan for this time, but 
So I'm sorry this video was shorter than usual and it's nothing like a day in the life, but I hope you guys enjoyed regardless and I can't wait to see you guys in my next one. Bye! <laughs>